The haka originates from the Maori people of New Zealand and is far more than just an energetic dance. It's a profound expression of identity, pride, and tradition. In this video, we're going to explore everything you need to know about the haka, from its historical roots to its modern-day interpretations. Let's start with a bit of history. The haka has its origins in Maori culture, with traditional performances that date back centuries. Originally, it was a war dance performed by warriors before battle, meant to intimidate opponents and unite the tribe. Over time, the haka has evolved, and today it serves various purposes, including celebrations, ceremonies, and even sports events. The haka is a powerful form of expression. Each movement, each chant carries deep meaning. For example, the vigorous movements and rhythmic chants in ka may symbolize strength and courage. It's not just about the dance. It's about connecting with the past and honoring would write home about how they were the fiercest people they had ever seen. Maori warriors were heavily tattooed, and tattoos had special cultural significance to them. The most common place to get them was the face, and it functioned as a sort of permanent war paint that you could wear all the time. They did neck, arm, and body tattoos as well, but face tattoos were the most common, which certainly says something about a culture. Maori warriors would usually start getting their tattoos while they were still adolescents. There was no standard template for their face tattoos. Each warrior would get their own unique design, usually based on some sort of spiral. They were tattooed on during a special ceremony, with each line intending to show the person's strength and bravery. They weren't done with a needle gun like modern tattoos. In fact, they weren't done with a needle at all. They were actually carved into the skin using a mallet and a chisel made from bone. This would have been incredibly painful, way more painful than getting a normal tattoo, which anyone today can tell you is pretty rough. The ink was made from a mixture of ash and animal fat. These tattoos weren't smooth like modern tattoos, but left permanent grooves in the skin. Face tattoos weren't the only thing Maori did to intimidate their enemies. Their most famous tradition was a dance called the haka. The dance involved warriors chanting, stomping, sticking out their tongues, and bulging out their eyeballs. Also used as a sort of fortune-telling technique. The dance would be done before a battle, and if something went wrong with it, the elders would conclude that the battle wasn't going to go well. They would change their strategy accordingly. The dance is still used by many of New Zealand's national sports teams today, even though they're just trying to score goals instead of killing people. Today, there are many modern interpretations of the haka. From sports teams to pop culture, it has made its mark globally. The dance has transcended its origins and inspired millions around the world, showing its versatility and enduring appeal. In the world of sports, especially rugby, the haka is a ritual of pride and intimidation. There's a lot of pressure we put on ourselves, but it was great to see that we come through. New Zealand, the land of adventure, Middle Earth, and breathtaking landscapes, is also full of a rich and complicated cultural history. This island nation is also called Aotearoa, a name given to it by the Maoris, descendants of the original Polynesian voyagers in the 1300s. Today, they make up more than 15% of the country's population. Maori's culture here is strong. From the Hakka, the famous All Blacks rugby team, signs in Maori and English, the Maori flag flying at this year's Women's World Cup, and a Maori news anchor showing traditional facial markings on national TV. Maori activists have spent decades fighting for this kind of landmark representation. But it's not just limited to the sports arena. You can also see haka performances in movies, music videos, and even weddings. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Kakite Ano.